Hello all, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to learn about insecure data storage. Insecure data storage comes under the second category of OWASP Top 10 2016. Insecure data storage vulnerabilities occur when development teams assume that users or malware will not have access to a mobile device's file system and subsequently sensitive information is stored in the device's database. So for example, let's say there is an application and this particular application has the login functionality while registering onto the application the application stored the username and the password in an SQLite database file that is stored onto the mobile devices system or mobile devices file system okay now the developers over here are thinking that any user won't be able to access this mobile devices file system and won't be able to grab the sensitive information However, this is not true. Attackers or malwares do have the access of the file system. And if the data is holded by the attacker or the malware, it is very simple for them to access the particular application. Now, this whole scenario comes under insecure data storage. There are other examples as well. Data can be stored insecurely in logged files as well. And even there's an example of Firebase wherein if there's improper authentication of Firebase database, that too would be coming under insecure data storage. So it's a demo time and let's check out how a vulnerable application can be found and how we can find insecure data storage inside a vulnerable application. So I'm going to open the DVIA, that is Damn Vulnerable iOS application and I'm going to click on the on the second one that is local data storage and I'm going to click on the first one that is plist. Now inside plist what happens is this particular application is going to save data inside plist file that is stored inside the file system and our task is to basically to find this plist file and find whether the data that is that has been stored inside this plist file is readable by us or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force save certain contents in that plist file that is test and test and I'm going to save it and as you can see that data has been saved successful in the plist file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Filza. Now do not worry how to download Filza. I have shown in the later sections of the videos. So do not worry that how will I be able to see this. Uh, if you want to install Filza right now, you can pause this particular video, go on to the video wherein I have shown you how to install different tweaks and over there you will be able to know how you can install Filza. So let's continue. So in order to find the plist file, all you have to do is first you have to go inside the repository called as where. Inside where, you have to go inside a repository called as mobile. So let me just search for mobile. And... Okay. Okay, sorry, by mistake I have entered inside containers. It's not inside containers, it's inside mobile. Inside mobile, you have to go inside containers. Inside containers, you have to go inside data then inside the application folder and you have to search over here the folder name of the application that is DVIA version 2. So over here at the very bottom I can see it and inside this you have to go inside documents and over here you would be able to find the info.plist file. Now if you open this info.plist file and just expand the root keyword you would be able to see that there are two keywords over here that is password and username so whatever we had stored inside the application everything was stored in clear text format inside this file system and if an attacker or a malware gets access of this particular file the attacker or the malware can simply log in into the application and grab all the user details so storing passwords and usernames in clear text inside the file system as one of the examples of insecure data storage. So I hope you understood what exactly is insecure data storage. Thank you.